Hi, and welcome to my kids' cooking show. This show teaches kids my age and younger how to cook their own nutritious meals. Today, we're going to be going over the essential tools for, that every kid should have in their kitchen. And I know that parents might not let you cook because they're worried about you getting cut or burned. But these tools right here will maximize the safety and minimize the cutting and burning. Now, I'm going to go over all of them, starting right now, so that you know which tools you should have. So, the teaspoons and tablespoon measuring spoons. You might want to have these when you're measuring like stuff like vanilla extract or maybe just a little bit of flour. And the difference between a teaspoon and a tablespoon, the teaspoon is TSP when it says it on the recipes, but the tablespoon is TBSP. That will be really helpful when you're trying to figure out the difference. And now, the cups. These measuring cups are really good when you need to measure dry powders such as flour, or sugar. These are really good for measuring flour in a recipe. And then the liquid measuring cup, really good when you want to measure milk or water to make something. Now all of these tools can only measure certain things, so this one you should only use it for liquids. These probably only for dry goods. And these for both liquids and dry goods. Now more essential tools for it for mixing you might want to use a whisk and i know we have little hands in the kitchen so for the littler hands that are cooking you should use a fork and a spatula is really good for flipping things over or just simply cutting things and mixing them and there are different kinds of spatula so you might want to know which kind of spatula you need to use and the pastry blender is really good when you want to mash something like an egg to make tuna salad. Now for oven safety, you want to use a cooking sheet. And for extra safety, so that you won't burn yourself, use the oven mitts. The oven mitts are really good when you want to take a tray out of the oven and you don't want to get burned. And now I know the little hands, it'll go down to their forearm so they'll be even safer. And now, to drain things and not get your parents' sink clogged, use the strainer. Strainer is really good when you have water or any other type of liquid in something, and you need to get it out, but you don't know how to. And now, I love these two things for cleaning up my messes. I love aluminum foil and parchment paper. The aluminum foil is really good for when you want to bake things like salmon or chicken. And the parchment paper is really good for cookies. And now, for when you want to slice something but you don't want to get your fingers cut, you want to use a handheld mandolin. This is mainly for the older kids. And you use it by taking the vegetable and just slicing it up and down. When your vegetable gets to a really short stump, you want to put this on it and slice it up and down. And now, for the younger kids, to maximize safety, you might want to use this little gadget that I have. It's called the Slice-O-Matic, and it's really helpful for a kid that wants to use something like the mandolin slicer, but it's a lot safer because you won't get your fingers cut. It works by just pulling this lever down. The vegetable is in there and it gets sliced and all the sliced vegetable go into this little handy compartment down there. And now when you want to peel a vegetable to get to the inside or maybe peel it so that you can have it in a salad, instead of using a knife, you should use a vegetable peeler. It's really, really handy and you won't get your fingers cut as often. Now to slice and dice things, you should use the slap chopper. This slap chopper is really good for younger kids. In the blade, it goes out, but then it reclines back in. The blade's really small so that your kids won't get cut in the kitchen. Now, for the older kids that have more experience, 
they could use a small size food processor. I personally like to use the Ninja brand, but you can use any type of small size food processor as long as it won't puree it right now. And so now that I've gone over all the essentials for the kitchen, I hope that you're able to use them. So thanks for watching. And next time we're gonna make something that's nutritious and delicious. Bye.